A so-called Good Samaritan ends up with quite the thank you, a beat down. According to Lakeland police, the man was trying to help a lost toddler find her parents, but in return, he was beaten up. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino joins us now from the Southwest Sports Complex. That's where this all unfolded. And Melissa, when this hit social media, things got even worse, right? Yeah, that's right, Stacy. And I want to show you this is a popular spot for people to come and play softball. But a day at the park turned into a nightmare for this man. He was beaten up and shamed on social media, according to police, for doing the right thing. A missing two year old turns a Saturday at the ball field into chaos. I thought he was taking my kids. <laughs> but according to Lakeland police, it was all a misunderstanding. They tell us a good Samaritan spotted the child and tried to help her find her parents. An independent witness didn't know the family or anybody said they saw him pointing out different males saying, is that your father? The good Samaritan told police the little girl pointed at this park, so that's where he was taking her to find her parents. But the dad tells us all he saw was this strange man walking towards this parking lot with his daughter. Yeah, I wanted to kill the man. When the girl's father caught up to the man, he admits he punched him. Probably about five or six times. Investigators determined the man was just trying to do the right thing. But since the incident, there's been a social media firestorm. Family and friends of the toddler posted his name, photo, and place of employment, calling him a child predator. We called him, but he was too terrified to talk. He tells us he even had to take his own family out of town. And this guy, as a father, a local businessman, has two children, was trying to help this child, but they turned it completely around, and that's, that's not right. The little girl's father just isn't buying it. Do you buy that he was trying to find her parents? No, hell no, I don't. Not at all. Okay, so we looked into the victim's past. He does not have any criminal history. Stacy.